This video will show you how to install the SAT operating system on your TID-9 or TID-9 titanium graphing calculator. Once you have completed the online checkout system at calctech.com, go ahead and click on the executable file to begin the installation process. Read the prompts and begin the installation. Read the end user license agreement, agree to the terms and conditions, and click next. Choose your installation directory. The default is in the programs files folder. If it does not exist, click yes to create it. Click start to begin the installation. Click Next, and then Exit. When the installation is complete, you should see the following folders. Manual, Plugins, Program Specific Images, and Programs. Before we do anything with the programs or the program specific images, we have to install the TI Connect software by Texas Instru Instruments Incorporated. The link to the web page to download the software is included in the instruction manual. When you go to this page, this will be displayed. As this video is for Windows, we will download the TI Connect software for Windows. To begin the installation, click TI Connect for Windows English. When the download is complete, click on the TI Connect ing executable file and begin the installation. Before you're able to install the TI Connect 1.6 version software, you must install the .NET framework by Microsoft in order to install this software. If you do not have the .NET Framework, go to Google and search for .NET Framework Redistributable 2.0. Now, go ahead and click Next to begin the installation. Read the terms and conditions and click Accept. Choose your installation folder. Click Next, and then begin the installation. When the installation is complete, you can choose to read the README file by Texas Instruments. If not, deselect the field box and click Finish. You should now have the Send to TI device right-click context menu item in order to send programs and program specific images to your Texas Instruments graphing calculator. If not, you will want to restart your computer and then start the installation process. Navigate to the programs subfolder in the SAT operating system version 1.0a TID9 folder. Here you will see all of the program components that comprise the SAT operating system. To install these files, at the top of Windows Explorer, click Edit, Select All, and then right-click on one of the individual programs. Click Send to TI Device to begin the transmission process. If this dialog box appears, and you know that your computer is slow, you might want to install the programs five at a time instead of all at once. In this video we will choose to send all at once. If you haven't already done so, please plug your Texas Instruments graphing calculator into your computer by placing one end of the mini USB cable that was included with your purchase 
into the mini USB port on your TID9 or TID9 titanium graphing calculator. This dialog box may appear if you have not installed a TI device before. Go ahead and click Next to install the driver. When the dialog box appears asking if you want to install the driver, click Continue. Click Continue. When it has finished installing, click Finish. We are now ready to continue the installation process. Select your graphing calculator at this screen to begin the transmission process. All of the programs will now appear. We want to send these programs to archive memory or flash ROM memory for the reasons described in the instruction manual. Go to the bottom and left click on the white space at the bottom and drag over all of the programs. Click set to archive in order to send the flash ROM memory partition on your graphing calculator. Then click send to device. Starting transfer will appear when it's ready to send the files to your device. The software will then begin automatically sending all of the files to your calculator, one at a time. This may take a while because there are 32 program components. When the installation process has been completed successfully, the dialog box will disappear. You have now installed the SAT operating system on your graphing calculator. However, before you can use the software, we also need to install the program specific images. Please return to the main folder in which you installed the SAT operating system. We're going to navigate to the program specific images folder and send the program pictures. As before, go to edit, select all, and right click, and then click send to TI device with your left mouse button. Again, the send to DI device dialog box will appear. Go to the bottom, left click and drag over all of the files and click set to archive. When you're ready, send to, T to TI device. The transfer will then begin. As before, the pictures will transfer your device one at a time. We're not just done yet. We now need to install the plugins for the SAT operating system. Return to the main folder and double click on the plugins folder. Here you will see the copy to H89Z and the copy to H289Z assembly programs that need to be installed on your graphing calculator. Again, hit edit, select all, right click, then click send to DI device with your left mouse button. The same dialog box will appear. Click and drag over the two component files and then click set to archive. Send to device when you're ready. The transfer will then begin just as before. When the plugins have installed correctly and successfully, you have now completed the full installation of the SAT operating system for your TID9 or TID9 titanium graphing calculator. This completes the Windows-based version of the installation process. To launch the program on your graphing calculator, please follow the steps in the instruction manual 
on page 10. Thank you for purchasing the SAT operating system for the T89 and T89 Titanium Graphing Calculators.